Okay, so using the log rule with change of variables. So start with some differentiation rules. And we're not, this <laughs> video is not on differentiation, it's actually on integration. But remember, one way and then back. So keep in mind that, that d dx, so ln of x is actually equal to 1 over x. And that ddx of ln of u, let ln of u be, if you want, ln of f of x. So we can write this two ways, let's write it this way first. It's equal to 1 over u, that looks similar, doesn't it? Just for this, times u prime, otherwise known as u prime over the function, uh, the derivative over the function. Uh, some of you have probably seen this this way, and sometimes we talk about this way in class. We just say the first, write the first derivative of ln of f of x. That derivative is equal to 1 over f of x times f prime and x. So we can obviously combine those to have f prime and x over f of x. That is to say, the derivative over the function is the pattern that we're looking for. So it's just a place, like kind of a starting off point, my jumping off point there. Um, so, of course, we can do all that backwards, and so our little light bulb, our little, that's a terrible light bulb, our little, that's a swear at the light bulb, <laughs> light bulb, our little light bulb can tell us that, that this is also true, isn't it, is equal to ln of the function plus the product of integration, right, and remember again that let this be a function, this could be ln of f of x, this could be f prime of x over f of x. Um, so just a couple really quick examples to apply this stuff, and I think this will be helpful looking for a pattern. So for example, one, find the indefinite integral of 2 over, two over x dx. And what I'm hoping that this thing is this, that this 2 right here, I'm wondering, What's the derivative of x? Well, the derivative of x is 1, so where did this 2 come from? So I'm looking at this way and saying, well, couldn't I rewrite it this way? 2 is a constant multiplier. And then we have 1 over x, and hopefully you would recognize 1 over x as <coughs> right? So this is the pattern that we're looking for. And so why would I know that you're, right? Cal a lot of calculus is, is pattern building or pattern recognition, so from recognizing this pattern. So when I integrate this, I'm going to say well, the integral is 2 ln of x plus 3. All right, so let's do another example that's just a little bit more difficult, but I think we have time. So here's the second example. The second example looks like this. Fine the indefinite integral of 1 over 4x minus 1 dx. And here we're going to, this is the video clip from change of variable, and this is our change of variable part right here. So I'm going to do a little u substitution. So I'm going to let u equal that 4x minus 1. And then du dx, the derivative of u with respect to x, is equal to, well, what's the derivative of x? It's just 4. Multiply both sides by dx, and you get du is equal to 4dx. Divide both sides by 4, because we want a replacement value. Look, we want a replacement value for dx. So here's this dx, and we'd like to replace this dx. And you'll see why in just a second. And then we would get this. And then we get du over 4 is equal to dx. And dx is that thing we're looking for. Now we're going to go do our substitution, and we're going to substitute. Substitute u for 4x minus 1 and du over 4 for dx. And I, so that would end up looking like this, wouldn't it? That would end up looking like this. We have 1 over 4x minus 1 times d now I'm asking you to, to leave along with me to see what you can 
here is one, let's go minus the other one, one fourth here. Can you see the one fourth? One fourth, so I'm just gonna keep simplifying. I'm gonna take this one fourth, it's a factor, so I'm gonna factor out the one fourth. So here's that yellow one fourth right there. This one fourth is this one. Over one over u, right? One over u du. And from here, we can just go straight to integration. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate here. Integrate. And when we integrate this, we're going to get, right? You recognize this. This is ln of, this is ln of u, isn't it? So we're going to get v equals 1 fourth ln. Remember that u is this piece right here. 4 x minus 1 plus the constant of the ratio. All right? So I hope that was helpful. So I'm going to do another example in a minute uh, where we actually find the area, the area that we're looking for. So stay tuned.